Simply put, a cyber attack is an attack launched from one computer or more computers against another computer, multiple computers and networks. Cyber attacks might be broken down into two broad types attacks where the goal is to disable the target computer and knock it offline, or attacks where the goal is to get access to the target computer's data and perhaps gain admin privileges on it. There are a variety of techniques attackers use to achieve those goals, including malware malicious software downloaded to a target computer that can do anything from steal data to encrypt files and demand ransom phishing emails that are crafted to fool victims into giving up. Passwords are taking some other harmful action denial of service attacks, which overwhelm a web server with bogus traffic man in the middle attacks, which fool the target computer into joining a compromised network and, of course, these techniques can be used in tandem. For instance, phishing emails may try to trick users into downloading malware. Recent cyber attacks every year brings new security breaches, but this year has seen some of the most egregious and disturbing since the dawn of the Internet age. From a data breach of one of the credit agencies that maintain personal data on every single American word talking about you, Equifax to possible state-sponsored malware attacks that use plundered NSA exploit code, 2017 has been rough on IT security. The most important statistic about 2017 cyber attacks is that they're expected to cause $5 billion worth of damages. That's a staggering 15-fold increase over just two years ago. The future looks equally grim cybercrime damage is expected to hit $6 trillion annually by 2021, with cybersecurity spending to hit $1 trillion over the next four years. And the industry is going to need 3.5 million new cybersecurity workers to clean up the mess. The biggest cyber attacks of 2017 deciding which cyber attacks were the worst is, arguably, somewhat subjective. Those that made our list did so because they got the most notice for various reasons, because they were widespread, perhaps, or because they were signals of a larger, scary trend. Without further ado, here are the biggest cyber attacks of 2017 1. WannaCry WannaCry was a ransomware attack that spread rapidly in May of 2017. Like all ransom Uber, it took over infected computers and encrypted the contents of their hard drives, then demanded a payment in Bitcoin in order to decrypt them. The malware took particular route in computers at facilities run by the United Kingdom's NHS. Malware ISNT anything new, though. What made WannaCry significant and scary was the means it used to propagate it exploited a vulnerability in Microsoft Windows using code that had been secretly developed by the United States National Security Agency. Called Eternal Blue, the exploit had been stolen and leaked by a in-group called the Shadow Brokers. Microsoft had already patched the vulnerability a few weeks before, but many systems hadn't upgraded. Microsoft was furious that the U.S. government had built a weapon to exploit the vulnerability rather than share information about the whole with the InfoSec community. Point two. Not Peachy Petya was just another piece of ransomware when it started circulating via phishing spam in 2016. Its main claim to fame was that it encrypted the master boot record of infected machines, making it devilishly difficult for users to get access to their files. Then, abruptly in June of 2017, a much more virulent version of the malware started spreading. It was different enough from the original that it was dubbed not Petya. It originally propagated via compromised Ukrainian accounting software and spread via the same eternal blue exploit that WannaCry used. Not Petya is widely believed to be a cyber attack from Russia against Ukraine, though Russia denies it, opening up a possible era of states using weaponized malware. Petya ransomware and not Petya malware what you need to know now 3. Ethereum While this one might not have been as high profile as some of the others on this list, it deserves a spot here due to the sheer amount of money involved. Ether is a Bitcoin-style cryptocurrency, and $7.4 million in Ether was stolen from the Ethereum app platform in a manner of minutes in July. Then, just weeks later came a $32 million heist. The whole incident raised questions about the security of blockchain-based currencies. Point four. Equifax Massive Credit Rating Agency announced in July of 2017 that criminals exploited a U.S. website application vulnerability to gain access to certain files, getting personal information for nearly 150 million people. The subsequent fallout enraged people further, especially when the site Equifax set up where people could see if their information had been compromised seemed primarily designed to sell Equifax services. 
Ed Zofer, CEO of Seneca Global, says the Equifax breach is particularly bad because they had already been told about the fix. It needed to be implemented in a tool called Apache Struts that they use, well before the breach even happened, and yet they failed to do so why in a timely manner. To prevent such breaches from happening requires a shift in culture and resources. This was not a technical issue, as the technical fix was already known. Equifax certainly had the resources but it clearly did not have the right culture to ensure the right processes were in place and followed. Point 5. Yahoo revised that this massive of Yahoo's email system gets an honorable mention because it actually happened way back in 2013, but the severity of it, with all 3 billion Yahoo email addresses affected, only became clear in October 2017. Stolen information included passwords and backup email addresses, encrypted using outdated, easy to crack techniques, which is the sort of information attackers can use to breach other accounts. In addition to the effects on the account owners, the breach could spawn a revisiting of the deal by which Verizon bought Yahoo, even though that deal had already closed. The truly scary thing about this breach is that the culture of secrecy that kept it under wraps means that there's more like it out there. No one is excited to share a breach, for obvious PR reasons, says Mitch Lieberman, director of research at G2 Crowd. But the truth eventually comes out. What else do we not know? More cyber attacks in the news A number of other attacks made news in 2017 Cyber attack prevention looking for tips on how to prevent falling prey to cyber attacks like these. CSO has you covered this story. What is a cyber attack? Recent examples show disturbing trends was originally published by CSO.